So let's dive right back into that weekend sporting action. We've got Mamelodi Sundowns, who could add yet another trophy to their now rather full cabinet as they take on TB Mazembe in the Africa Super Cup final tomorrow, while well, Sunday, of course, sees the Proteas and New Zealand renew their one-day rivalry. And we've got the T20 kicking off later this morning, 8 o'clock. Former Proteas player Merrick Pringle, the meek and mild Merrick, joins us this morning, of course, with our regular <laughs> sports journalist, Carl Lewis. I'm just, I'm just poking the bear. I just want to see that fire come out. Um, Carl, awesome to connect with you. Merrick, great to have you with us this morning. Let's put it into perspective. You've obviously gone the hard yards with the Proteas through difficult times and enjoyed some fantastic times. We were trying to work out what that record-breaking run is. He doesn't even remember how many games they won on the trot. I think 13 or 14. Um, but it's, uh, he's humble. It's not about the win. But Merrick, how, how proud are you, are, are you of the boys at the moment? Where do you think the Protea mindset is going into a month-long, a torrid tour in New Zealand? Yeah, geez, I, I, think, I think, you know, since Faf du Plessis has taken over as a captain of the Test side and, and the T20 side, uh, uh, there's been more of a sort of a family vibe that's, that's create, that he's created there. And, and it's awesome to see, and you, it's, it's, it's noted learning, yeah. by everybody. Um, and, you know, to, to come off the win in Australia, come back to South Africa, win, beat them here, um, and then beat the Sri Lankans 5 0 as well. They're, they're, they're on a, a, mass, a serious roll. Um, the true test is going to be now when they in New Zealand and then on to England after that. Uh, um, I think they play uh, one T20 against New Zealand and they've got three, three ODIs and one test match and there's a month break before they're off to England and there it's uh, three T20s, five ODIs and four test matches. So in the next two months uh, there's some serious cricket being played and we just hope that, um, you know, that the fitness levels can stay up there, which I'm sure they will, and nobody gets injured. How much is that team thinking about trophies? I mean, that, that is our, our bugbear. That's what, what, certainly from a fan's perspective, is this the team that can go and get us a World Cup, get us an ICC Champions Trophy? You know, since 92, uh, I think every side that's, that's come through, everyone said this is the side that can do it. We've just got this so-called choker thing around our necks that Nonsense, we, we can't yeah. bring an ICC Trophy back to South Africa. Um, yeah, let's see what happens, and I hope I'm not putting any. <laughs> in other any words, doubt just don't jinx it. That's what you're saying. Just sure, sure, yeah. don't jinx it. <laughs> we honestly thought at the last World Cup that we we're going to bring it back. Um, I think I think we I think we all did. Um, Carl, I've got to put this to you. Of course, we, we shift gears into football. Um, sundowns after a little bit of light sparring against Pirates, a six 0 win. That's that's the kind of preparation you want going into a massive fixture. Could they be crowned the, the champions of Africa again? TP Mazembe, tough tough order. Definitely, the Congolese, they, they are a very tough outfit, like you said. But I think this is just a one-off game and another opportunity for Ajax, uh, Ajax Sundowns <laughs> to fill the already filled uh, trophy cabinet. Yeah. And added to that, there's a nice one million rand prize. So, you know, I don't think there's a lot at stake. It's just a nice, uh, nice match to kind of add a trophy to it. There's, there's not a lot at stake. But the TP Mezemba side, they're very powerful, very strong. And I don't think it will be easy, but... Uh, uh, Pizza Musumani has prioritised this game. I know their last game against Chipper was a 1-1 one -one draw. He rested a couple of players. Yeah. I think there was about nine changes. So I think he's taking it seriously and, and he realised this uh, opportunity for him to add another trophy to his CV. Yeah, I think it also provides some, you know, they're there and thereabouts in the league. A nice boost in momentum could take them there as well. Um, Merrick, thank you so much for sticking around this morning. Awesome to connect with a true Protea legend. Enjoy getting out on the field there. Um, and thank you so much. I'm sure we'll touch base with you after the weekend, Carl, to, to bring us up to speed on all of the action. And of course, you can catch the Proteas. Um, they'll be kicking off against New Zealand in that once-off T20 later this morning. I think 8 o'clock that game kicks off.